um, if we're being really honest about yeah. it. Um, everything is NASA. NASA has an incredible image archive. They've got really good presence on Instagram, on TikTok. They have millions of followers. If you look at the UK Space Agency or lots of learned societies in the UK related to space, I think we totted them up and they had about 40 followers on TikTok between them. Pardon? Is that the British disease? We are too self-deprecating, too well, modest. We are, but we haven't we haven't put anything out about ourselves online. If you look at the, um, I, I don't want to single them out, but um, the UK Space Agency Instagram account. Um, there's posts which it's good that they're posting on Instagram. It's great, but the posts are really only about astronauts, mm -hmm. and they only have astronauts going to a conference and presenting nicely, which is very good for an adult understanding the industry. But if you want to get someone who's 10, 12 kind of on Instagram, um, whether or not they're allowed to be, I'm not sure, but 12, mean, 12 yeah. then 12. 14, um, but some what they senses. need is some something that's actually really interesting, something that's going to capture them, beautiful Earth observation mm -hmm. images that actually make people stop and look and go, wow, I can see where I live from space. Yeah. That's really cool. And NASA is really good at this. So I'd really love the fact that I would want a 12-year-old to go online and to understand what are we doing in the UK. Whether or not it's social media or whether it's searching on, you know, internet, some yeah. kind of search engine, I think you're absolutely right. And I think it's that we, we need to create content that is engaging and exciting and fun and that inspires our young people to go, this is what I want to do with my life.